this time I have my hair tied back. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Because it's very different from what I usually do. Yeah, so let me know. I try to be consistent, but it's so hard because I like to try different things. I'm, you know, <laughs> anyway. When I'm thinking sexy time perfumes, I'm thinking going to bed, maybe being intimate with my partner. I like more sweet, oriental, vanilla type of perfumes when I'm going to bed. Of course, this varies on how I'm feeling, the mood, the weather, you know, how I'm dressed up because sometimes I'm dressed up really young and girly and sometimes I'm dressed up really grown and very sexy mature kind of thing. I like to be nicely greased. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna discuss quickly about hygiene. I have my own routines for when it's a planned situation, you know. My point for this video is to share with you the kind of perfumes I would wear when I'm anticipating to be intimate with my partner or, you know, I'm going out on a date and it might lead to whatever it might lead to. These are perfumes I would consider as sexy time perfumes, so they're also my suggestions to you. I have tried to include, you know, a variety of scents for different types of women. I'm more of a girly, feminine type of woman. I like my silk sheets, pink, you know, white creams, reds. That's me. Let me know if you enjoy my choices and my suggestions to you and we can go from there. So let's get right into the list. I have Lyra. Lyra is a lemony dessert scent. It is perfect if you went out on a date and you know it just drifted to a more intimate settings. So it is very pretty and delicious, but it's sexy grown up as well. Yes, it's delectable, you know. Um, I think that it can merge into different situations. It can be a really pretty, you know, dinner and that's it, or a bedtime, sexy time type of perfume. I would wear this earlier in the evening when you're still preparing so that when it settles on the skin, it has time to kind of absorb into your skin and mesh well with your scent, with your natural body scent. Do what you want. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> I don't suggest you spray it directly on the places where you think your partner is gonna put his lips, his mouth, because you don't want him tasting perfume, but you do want him to smell it. So just, you know, areas where he will just pass by, so to speak. So here's Lyra. She is great for this type of situation. If you can, try not to picture me in these, but Lyra is like grown up sexy for the night, you know, probably wearing something like this. It gives this type of vibe, like grown sexy, delectable, like I said. So this is what I would select if I was wearing Lyra that night. It's cute, it's cute, it's sexy, but it's grown, it's lace, you know? Like, we're not being cutesy, we're being ladylike, but sexy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, whether you have a bra on or not, you'll have your silk robe or satin robe over the top and braless maybe <laughs> and this and spray this on your skin and you're nicely greased like i mean elegantly moisturized where you know have you ever seen two dry skin trying to rub against each other it's not cute so if you're nicely oiled it will make the experience a lot better if you know you know yeah that's lyra Another grown-up sexy scent is Dior Addict. This is another beautiful vanilla. This underwear is Dior Addict vibe. It's also grown-up sexy and yeah. 
this is when you know you have silk sheets you know candles going and I mean you know vanilla scented candles it's it's a nice elegant dinner you've just had with wine you know you've wined and dined and you're you've got this little buzz from your wine and you were already wearing this lingerie when you were having your wine and dining experience in the house it's a more intimate in the house kind of date glass of red wine is all finished or maybe it's not and then you're going upstairs you brush your teeth again you know you just mm -mm, tidy up a little bit yeah you just remove the clothes you're wearing at dinner and put on a robe and you've got this and the matching bra underneath you spray this once more on your skin lightly though and kind of you know spray the right places mm. that's your setup for this it's beautiful it's elegant but I feel like vanilla works really well if you get hot you know because these types of situations you know some heat could generate from your body so vanilla and friction and heat is a uh, beautiful okay and a lot of body creams go well with vanilla like so um yeah you're not gonna find it hard to match something with your duo addict so my favorite type of sexy time dress up or vibe that i like to create is when i'm feeling really really girly and flirty and there are certain scents that i love for this time um i have recently purchased Delena the body cream so now I'm gonna use that to layer with Delena exclusive and because this is so sweet and bright but I won't spray it close to me being intimate with someone no I'll spray it when I just finished showering for example and I put on the body cream and I spray this and let it really settle into my skin almost become like my own so I now have Delina body cream which was suggested to me by a subscriber Maya Nair and she said this is beautiful so I can't wait to try it and I might wear this and not spray or I might wear both Yes, that's my plan for Delena and when I do the unboxing of other things, I will include this in that video. So thank you girl. I don't like to spray perfume where it's very sharp and I'm getting ready to, you know, jump into my activities. No, I want it to almost become my, like my skin, you know, so I don't spray a lot but I spray earlier in the evening so that yeah. but you know you have those times where it's kind of unprepared or unplanned type of intimate situation but I'm speaking of times where I've had time to prepare so yes Delina is kind of young flirty in this type of situation that's what I use her for and so i'd be wearing something like this right here <laughs> so cute you know and i'll either be braless or wearing like one of my white crop tops with no bra and just underwear and you know got my petty my manicure done and smelling good and my hair i always like my hair tied back because I don't like my hair out because it gets in the way it gets in the way but I like it loose tied back like this so that it's grabbable you know but it's like pretty and it, anyway too many details too much too much it's too much isn't it TMI my bed now so this is what I would wear Delina with. Another Delina moment is this right here. Lace and cute. I like the details. You let me know. Are you a this type of girl or a this type of girl or all the other ones that I've mentioned? Just let me know in the comment section because I'm 
I'm curious. Disclaimer, because you know, you gotta have one. Do not misunderstand me. Where would you like and dress for your types of intimate situations? Wear what you want, but I'm doing this because I just felt like sharing what I would do and what I would wear and how I would wear my fragrances for intimate dates. I want to know how you arrange your life, how you arrange your evening, whatever your situation is. Feel free to let all of us know, <laughs> myself and others that are curious as well and would want to read you know, your comment or your stance on scents that you wear during your sexy times. If you have any suggestions for these two pretty underwears, I would wear these types of fragrance. These are fine fragrance mists. And what I do is moisturize, put on a body oil and spray this straight out of the shower while my body is still hot. This is thing I do after showering and all of that. I get out of the shower and pet dry my skin and I put on a body oil first, spray this, then put on a moisturizer and then spray the body mist again. And it just settles in my skin and that's it. No perfume, nothing else. And I'd be wearing one of these because I'm feeling cute and pajamas no more pajamas braless because i don't do bras that often you know hate them hate them when i have to i will wear one but if i don't have to then i won't because most people most men prefer you naked anyway so um yeah i i like body mists because they're affordable they're easy they're quick and I don't feel guilty keeping them in my bathroom cupboards. And you can get a variety because they're easily affordable and accessible. So yes, love my body mists. I have more, um, but these are just an example to show you. And I have more coming in the mail as well. So remind me to list the fine mists that I have in the description because I forget sometimes okay so just remind me and I will list the ones that I have in the description box so yeah so my two honorable mentions are Oud Satin Mood because Oud Satin Mood I wear it when I've been out on a date and you just you know <laughs> you just get in the house and get down to it it's great it's sexy it's perfect and I love Jessica Simpson Fancy for nighttime vibes, sexy vibes, because it's also sweet and warm. And this is one I wear when I just get out of the shower as well, because it meshes well with my body chemistry and I just love it. I don't spray too much because you just don't. And here's another thing that I do. Sometimes when I'm filming a video, I get inspiration to film another type of topic and I immediately want to share the topic with you guys but I've learned not to do that because I find that people go and make the video that I said I want to make a video of you know what I mean like copy my topic so I'm not gonna do that it's gonna be a surprise but never mind FYI anyway for Jessica Simpson fancy you know I'm very girly and flirty so I'd wear like this type of bra and choose one of my you know simple but soft material type of underwear because the type of person that i am dealing with likes soft material on me so that's what i deliver you know you do what they like you do what you like so um these fun comfortable type of underwear with this lace oh well i have a matching underwear for this and I could just wear it by itself. But um, yeah, you, you get the idea. Um, very girly, casual, sexy, if that makes any sense. This is it. And sometimes I used to worry a lot about wearing quality lingerie, but most of the time they just wanna either rip it off or they're rather you're not wearing anything. 
or they really like dainty cheap looking stuff sometimes because it's cheap to us but to them they're thinking ah easy access <laughs> you know i have pairs of lingerie that are a little bit dainty looking yeah this is pretty isn't it this is pretty um and this is also a different type of vibe but very similar um okay now i know this is not a clothing haul but i found that when i show examples of what i would wear with what perfumes it gives you guys an idea you can properly imagine what i'm trying to you know reiterate to you guys i mean if this was not helpful to you let me know in the comment section but um i hope it was the last time i did this type of video um showing different clothing or styles that i would wear with what perfumes it did really well because people liked me showing how i would wear my perfume so i don't know <laughs> I hope you like it again this time. I am so excited that we got to sit down and I can share these, you know, TMI type of <clears throat> topics. For my sexy times, you know, I try to focus on the senses. So how I look, how I smell, you know, how I feel, like the touch so soft, you know. Ah sexy materials i like to work on ambience lighting you know all those great things and just to make sure that my partner has the best experience and that i have the best experience too because they they do their best to make sure i'm happy so vice versa I enjoy sitting down and chatting about these things with you. So let me know if you enjoy these types of videos from me and I hope to do more. And thank you so much for watching.